New Zealand, I have absolutely devastating news. I won't go into detail here, but Sam and Cole are having their baby taken off them by the New Zealand government, by the state. Little baby Will is going to be handed to Starship Hospital. I have come here to the studio to do a piece about Starship Hospital, who fabricated a situation this morning through absolute bullying to trump up a charge so that I could be trespassed for 48 hours. Obviously, this is part of the coordinated attack. They are psychologically attacking Sam. They are following her, intimidating her, and she does not feel safe there. There are still some good nurses, but the upper echelons, I believe, are working for somebody else and doing wrong. I will be able to explain this in a love letter to you, but meantime I've just heard that this beautiful baby who never leaves his mother's side is going to be taken over by a hospital that his mother and father no longer have trust in. This is wrong on every level. Please, New Zealand, I asked you before, everybody, shoulders to the wheel, please double down on your efforts. We are going to need every single one of us to stand for this family, to stop this wrongdoing, to stand up to this government, even if it means getting this woman, Jacinda Ardern, out of government now and having a snap election to say she is no longer legitimate. There is no reason for this judgment. This little baby cannot have blood that the health department themselves in court finally admitted yesterday has traces of mRNA in it. mRNA is admitted by Pfizer itself to cause inflammatory conditions in the human body and particularly around the heart and particularly for boys' hearts. This baby is due to have a heart operation. If he has blood from the polluted New Zealand blood bank, that has admitted that mRNA stays in the blood after someone's jabbed for up to 14 days. They finally admitted after denying, they admitted in court yesterday that that's the truth. They'd been lying to us. If that blood goes into little baby Will's heart, it could cause such inflammation that it compromises his heart and compromises the operation. This is why they have begged for their clean, non-jabbed, donor blood that they've lined up to be used and this government and this hospital and this health department and this New Zealand blood has gone against them in an act of such egregious tyranny. We will be dealing with it more in the next few days. Please help. Please help call the Prime Minister, write letters, begin to form groups around the country of protest, ask for her resignation. Jacinda Ardern must go and this family must be saved. I'll be talking to you again soon.